hey good morning everyone i am back with another video how to create azure pipeline for sql database artifacts and this is a third part of the series of ci and cd for the sql database in this video we are going to create a azure build pipeline to create a artifacts for adventure database so that we can use this artifacts in release pipeline so let's look at i am connected with my sample project in azure devops service console and to create a new build pipeline go to build option and create a new build pipeline instead of using yaml file we are going to use visual designer to create a build pipeline so click on use the visual designer select the repository where we uploaded our solution file if you remember in our previous video i created a solution file and uploaded on my github location so select the repository on github this is the repository and continue to build a artifact on azure build pipeline select the dotnet desktop templates change the name for this build pipeline these are tasks that is going to perform to build the artifact for this database anuget and anuget restore is a anuget package that is going to download and use it i am not going to be explain in detail about anuget if you need more assistant you can look at my you can look at my video tutorial how to build a pipeline for dotnet project on my youtube channel if you remembered in previous video visual studio uses ms build to generate backpack file or artifacts similar way azure build pipeline also going to use ms build to build a artifact of solution file you can give the display name if you want i am okay with that the platform i am okay with default value i am okay with uh, all default value for ms build visual studio test it is going to perform some basic test on artifact or package for our database so i am keeping all value has a default publish symbol path it is going to be generated and store the symbol path under the bin folder so i am okay with all default value for this task also next one is copy file to build artifact staging directory basically in this step artifacts are going to be copy from source location to target folder and the content 
will be a deckpack file. Okay, only one change, and finally, it is going to be publish artifact has name of drop. It means that you can download the artifact has result of build pipeline from Azure portal. Once you are good, then save it. Give the comment and save it. If you want to give any variables, you can give it variables. You can set up a schedule for the build pipeline. But for now, I am leaving all the options as a default. You can look at all other options, but uh, I am keeping all the options as a default. This is for the retention policies. How do you want to keep your retention policies? For now, I am using the default one. And this is the history of this build pipeline since this is for the demonstration perspective for the real environment you may require to modify a couple of these settings like retention policies variables options etc so we have successfully created a build pipeline for the adventure database now time is to be execute this build pipeline to create a artifacts for the adventure database so click on q i am using hosted visual studio 2017 a default agent pool i am okay with all default options click on q and uh, build number has been queued if you click on build number the agent is getting ready for the job let's wait to be complete this particular build life cycle okay so now you can see here the particular build successfully executed and completed with three warning messages but we are okay with these warning messages because they are on test assembly and publish symbol path. So look at this summary. Our artifacts are ready in the drop section you can download the artifacts from here if you click on drop it is you know it is a nested uh, files and folders created by the azure build lifecycle So this is the artifacts we are interested to be released on our SQL database. You can download it on your local machine or you can directly use this artifacts in your release. This is the pipeline which we created and we ran a single build just now. So we successfully created a artifacts for adventure database by using Azure build pipeline and uh, in next video we are going to create a Azure release pipeline to deploy this artifacts on SQL server. In this video that's all. Thanks for watching. Join me in next video to create a release pipeline. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.